one. Today we continue to read the book The Creator Club, Annie the Puppy Whisperer. Chapter 5, First Day of Puppy School. Annie rang the doorbell at Tora's house. Immediately, she and her mom heard a yip, yip, yip from inside. It grew louder and closer. There was a soft thud on the other side of the door. It was followed by Frizian scratching. Amy and her mom smiled at each other. It was Merrily. Okay, down, Merrily, Tara said, opening the door. She held Merrily by her leash. Hello, Tara cried out over Merrily's loud barking. Tara waved them inside. What a lovely home, Dr. Purvis said. Amy looked around. No wonder Tara didn't want Merrily chewing on everything. Her house was filled with nice things. Her sofa and armchairs were white and spotless. There were beautiful pillows all around. The fireplace mantel held expensive-looking art objects. Suddenly, Tara spotted Merrily sniffing a particularly shaggy pillow. Amy had to admit the pillow did look pretty appealing to a puppy. No, Merrily, Tara called. She grabbed the pillow before the puppy could. Amy looked down at Merrily. I have an idea. Amy said, there's a cue called leave it. That way, you can tell Merrily to leave things alone that she shouldn't chew on. I think that's the one we will work on today. Amy explained that she had worked with Merrily by herself first and then bring Tara in. Tara nodded. Sounds like a dream. She held out the leash for Amy to take. Good luck. Tara and Dr. Previ stayed inside to chat while Amy led Merrily into the backyard. Tara's backyard was fenced in all on all sides. Perfect, top Amy. It means Merrily could be off leash. Amy detached the leash from Merrily's collar. Immediately, Merrily started sniffing at Amy's pockets. Amy laughed. Can you smell them already? Do you have a good nose? One pocket was filled with fitter, creeter, healthy dog treats. Amy knew Merrily liked those. Her other pocket was filled with puppy snacks. Amy had here they were like candy for dogs. Super tasty! Amy bet Merrily would like those even more. Amy had a plan for teaching Merrily. Leave it, she said. Had read all about in your best friend. In her new best friend. Step one. Allow the puppy to sniff a treat in her clothed hand. She may pow and lick and try to get it. At it. Do not let her have it. Wait for the puppy to get bored or turn away. Step two. Prize the puppy and give her surprise and um, even taste your treat from your other hand hidden behind your back. Repeat steps one and two again and again. Every time the puppy looks or pulls away from the closed hand, see, leave it. Then reward her with the tasted treat from the other hand. And began with step one. She reached into her right pocket. She wrapped her hand and her hand completely around a fitter creator treat. Then she held her closer fist out to Merrily. Merrily sniffed it. Then she began to lick Amy's fist. She nudged at the hand with her nose. She barked at it. She licked it some more. Amy accepted that. She waited patiently for Merrily to get bored or look away. She and she waited. But Merrily kept on going, nosing and licking and barking. She wanted that treat. Amy's hand was drooping with dodgy drool. And Merrily's licking really, really tickled. Amy didn't open her hand. She couldn't open her hand. Merrily needed to learn. But Amy started to wonder. Was Merrily going to learn? Bye.